Hello, people, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Half-Life 2, Episode 2. Uh, I think this is where we were. Yeah, today is June 7th, so that was an uh, autosave. So, <clears throat> last time we left off, we were in a toxic waste dump. Trying to get away from zombies. Ah, uh, crap. Oh, hey, CJ. Don't do that. Whatever. So, aside from that, not much has happened. I tried recording a bit earlier in the, a few minutes ago, but I found out that I, that I didn't press the record button on my audio, which is really dumb for me. But it isn't the first time that, I, that something like that has happened. I tend to forget that, uh... The hell? Sorry about that. For some reason, the light, my uh, lights are flickering. That are like someone's pressing the switch outside my door again. Alright, so I need to ah. Okay, so uh, as you can see the bridge kind of moved itself. Uh, to deal with that, we're going to have to move all these cars off of it. And I do mean all of them. Huh. Let me do a quick save, and we're going to drive this sweet-looking hot rod car. And I failed. So we made it. After me crashing into the door. Like a moron. 
Saving. Well done. Huh. Oh, there you go. oh my God. Look at this car. We scored. We did indeed. <laughs> hey, Cecil. Shotgun. Oh. Unless you want it. I fear a more urgent errand demands our attention. There are advisors yet unhatched. We'll keep on the lookout. This road will take you near White Forest, but be wary of the. Give me a sec. I gotta have my dog out of my room. Have to leave. Come on. So my dog is sitting on my lap. Others may use Give it as well. I can't tell you how grateful I am. Our bonds are of nature and require no gratitude. Who's a good little doggy? Got a bit of a sore in your ear. Hey, hey, careful, careful. All right, time to hit the open road. <clears throat> How you doing, Mr. CJ? Want to say hi to the people on the <laughs> of the internet? Speak to them. Anyway. down the road looks like we'll have to take a detour so um driving section of this oh. driving section of this game is pretty fun you want to get down Let's go do that. They've got no idea the Combine's heading their way. I'm surprised the Combine haven't destroyed this place. But then again, they also missed the White Forest missile silo. Nobody's home. Wonder how long it's been deserted. They must have a transmitter in one of these buildings. I don't know, however long it takes for dead bodies to get looking like this. Transmitter. Well, here's the transmitter. Mm, no power, though. Let's see if we can get some electricity going.
So yeah, we're gonna have to start the generator up again. This thing's uh, power source up again. And I don't remember which way we were supposed to go. Yeah, here we are. I'll keep a lookout while you poke around inside. Alright, so this is going to be our first time seeing, well, not seeing, but first time fighting the Combine Hunters. Also known as the Mini Striders in, when they were first introduced in Episode 1. So the, com so the Combine Hunters are really susceptible to physics attacks. Also, you can kill them with their own uh, flechettes by doing that. They're also Pack Hunters. Alright, you can also try to run them over, but that's a little bit harder. Yeah, these things are really creepy when you think about the them. Party. And that's the thing about the Combine, is all their uh, creatures are what are known as synths, or synthetic troopers. Okay. That means that this thing, whatever the hell the hunters used to be, well, the Combine have since turned them into something in. much, force, much worse. Force, do you read? This is White Forest. Identify yourself. This is Alex. Alex. Alex Vance? Where are you? I expected you hours ago. Well, we had a bit of a setback. Don't you understand the gravity of the situation? The survival of Earth depends on the data you have. Yes, carry. I know. But the Combine, they're heading your way. What? What's that? What? You're heading my way? I should hope so. No, not what? us. What was that? Combine. You're, You're breaking up, ready. Alex. What? What? Crap. I wonder if he got any nope. of that. Let's get back on the road. Here, let me open the gate. Here's our car. Let's keep going. See if we can pick up the road somewhere ahead. So, yeah, today, uh, so, yeah, the Hunters are probably one of the most interesting enemies you'll fight in this game, 
because their name gives what they do. They're pack hunters. They hunt in packs of either three or four or five, and they coordinate, and their AI is designed to coordinate with each other, so they'll flank, so while you're busy dealing with one hunter, another one could potentially come, be coming up from behind you and flank you from behind, or either side of you. They're basically designed to hit, to go, if they're, if you're using a specific tactic, they're basically designed to adapt hey, to that I know that tactic. peak. You can see it from White Forest. <laughs> We're heading the right way. An advisor pod. Look, it's one of those advisor pods. Back in the Citadel, those things we saw. Here someplace. I think we found our advisor. The board said we should kill them before they hatch. Let's do that. Hmm. Ah, life support. What do you say, Gordon? Shall we pull the oh, yeah. plug? I'm all for pulling the plug on cr crazy slug creatures. Hmm. Maybe I can get this open. There we go. Over to you, Gordon. So there's the advisor. Notice how creepy it looks. Yeah, this is super creepy. Hello, thing that looks like a penis. <laughs> Did you oh, yeah. see it? I can only imagine what it would have done if... Uh-oh. Autonomous unit subsumed. Sounds like it called its friends. Soldiers! Hi, Combine. It's been a while since we've seen each other. I got a crossbow now. Let's hit it. Let's get out of here. So remember the hunter chopper from the first Half-Life game? Yeah, those things are still around. It's just now they're except we don't have the uh, the air gun. We don't have the airship gun to kill it. But we're going to find out in a few minutes that there's an antique completely different way you can kill this thing.
Bam! Get off my car. Okay, we're continuing. Do this. Dead. Dead. I mean, well, deader than usual. Wait! Run her off, a hole. That chopper in on your tail. You want to maybe help us take it down? Oh, with pleasure. Hate those things. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot that was the one that, uh, that doesn't explode. Do you wonder how you take down a hunter chopper? I'll tell you how. You throw its own bombs back at it. <laughs> Thing is, Gordon Freeman's not that kind of doctor. <laughs> I can. Hey, over here. <laughs> Boy, are we glad to see you guys. Whoa. That was amazing. <laughs> the way you threw their minds right back yeah. at them. Well, I could sure use a drink. Who's with me? We need to get back on the road, but our engine's shot to hell. I don't suppose you got any tools for working on cars. Tools? <laughs> got a whole shop over here. Come on, we'll get you set up. Of course. So yeah, that's the best way to take care of that thing. Hear that sound? That's an auto gun. <laughs> you weren't kidding. We'll be back on the road in no time. Well, that could be a problem. You hear that auto gun going off out there? We normally run supplies out of the White Forest base, but a few days ago the combine cut off access. Hmm. What do you think? I'll take care of it. Maybe while I'm getting the car fixed up, you can see about clearing up that roadblock. All the fresh zombies coming out of City 17 have kept them pinned down. It's just a matter of time till the troops start pushing this way. If you think you're up to it, 
We'll let you out there. Okay, okay. Huh. Well, I'm gonna end the video right here, but before I do it, watch this. We got a trap door up here where I can let you over to the other hey, side. I was drinking. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.